each time our next guest pays a visit to this show, he risks life and limb, specifically my life and my limbs, to entertain you. He is a beast master. He's handy with a hammer, too. He has a new special called Pet Nation Renovation, premiering Wednesday night on Animal Planet. Please welcome the Canadian Tarzan, Dave Salmoni. <laughs> What is this? Oh, right. Okay. Folks, oh, it's just, it's just you the already, plot. the animals hello, are out of control. Hello, hello, everybody. <laughs> you're all right, you're all right. Oh, you're leaving? <laughs> it's that way. That, yeah, that. Yeah. Just say goodbye to Larry, everybody. <laughs> oh, oh, my oh. God. <laughs> Good night, everybody. I'm going to lose it. This is a mountain lion. Yeah, no kidding. Hi, sweetheart. Okay. He should be in the mountains. I just think it might be lots of applause for him. Right why, now. why are, are Hi, you bleeding sweetheart. already? Good why point. are you bleeding every single time you come out here? It's for dramatic effect. <laughs> is it really? How <laughs> old is this mountain this lion? This guy's very young. He's about four months old. And you can see, he just was getting used to all the people. See, he's happy and healthy. Do you want to hold him? No, I don't uh, want to hold him. <laughs> Probably a good instinct. There's almost nothing nice. less I want than to hold him, honestly. So, let me show you some fun things about him. Yeah, OK. OK, so a mountain lion or a cougar, same thing. He's looking at Guillermo in a bad way. Yeah. <laughs> First thing you might have noticed, uh -huh. except for the teeth and claws, uh -huh. uh, is the fact he's got spots still. So babies are born with light blue eyes, so you can see his eyes still have some blue in them. Hey, buddy, want to show your eyes? Just like human babies are born with blue eyes. Right, and right? they change. So his eyes are and already And human changing. babies have that. And then when they're teenagers, they have spots on their right. faces, too. But, so he has these spots because, oh, OK, cool. <laughs> he does not want any part of you. He does. He wants all the parts uh, of you. I guess he does, yeah. <laughs> um, so these spots are going to help him right now because at this age, he's going to hide when mom is off hunting. So they're solitary animals, mountain oh. lions. Right, so what he needs to do is hide away from other predators that might hurt him. So the spots help him find a nice little bush somewhere. He looks he happy, though, huh? He is happy. Yeah. So, you know, the difference between happy and unhappy would be um, he, his ears would be far further back. Uh-huh, and is that when we should be worried? <laughs> no. Wow, look I mean, at that. In, he these, really in is... these situations, it's not a matter of worry. Uh -huh. It's just, oh, big guy, yeah, don't quit showing off. Yeah, uh-oh. Oh, I lost that. Uh-oh, we okay. got, yeah, yeah, there you go. that's I'll probably a good I idea. But God only knows what's in that box. Okay, you got him? What is in that box? Uh, okay, time for here? a box. Where's yeah. I need it's, some things. It's yeah. I did not order this on Amazon. I'm gonna tell you that right now. All right. So why don't you come into this chair? Okay. Actually, yeah, go sit there. All right. So this is a very, very venomous snake. In fact, one of the most venomous snakes in the world. And you can see I'm not gonna touch the box because it also has the largest fangs in the world of any snake. And therefore, I, oh, I need you to be stationary. So if, is that your spot? <laughs> yeah, this okay, is that's your spot. Because <laughs> as you suggested, I am fairly new with this. <gasps> yeah, I saw that on your right. Twitter or whatever. So I'm going to use these sticks here. Yeah. And these sticks are going to help me keep my hands and fingers. Oh, good. Wait. Two shish kebabs. The only thing keeping this. you from getting bit. And we're going to do this. Stay no, away. don't put him near me. Don't put him on my. Oh, it's a fat little snake. He's a very, very heavy snake. And OK, so I am a little bit new at this. So let me, uh, I'm going to be watching him a lot more than I'm watching you. OK, yes, watch him. This is a Gabon him. Viper. You can come a little closer if you'd like. You're I don't. perfectly safe. <laughs> One of the things that I love about these guys is although it is the biggest fangs. You can see this is his venom sac right there. You see right here on the side of his head? See how big that bump is there? Yeah. It's the, one of the largest venom. That is the largest venom sac of any venomous snake. He is one of the fastest strikers. And in fact, this one could even strike, strike behind himself. Uh. So, <laughs> so, <laughs> so even though, even though he, he's, he is a very dangerous snake, uh -huh. uh, he's super calm. Look at him. He's just chilling out. He's relaxed. He's one, of the, he's one of the best snakes for me to show you that, like, people have this general fear of snakes. And one of the biggest problems with these guys is people, when they see venomous snakes, they kill them. Yeah. Uh, there's no real need. This guy has no interest in hurting anybody, just kind of wants to be left alone. How do we know, though? We don't know what he's Well, because if he was going to hurt somebody, he'd be probably striking at me like the mountain lion was earlier. Maybe he doesn't want to hurt people on TV, because then word gets around that they like to hurt Bad people. Bad reputation. 
You know, these are things I've not thought about. Yeah. So, okay. something else I want to show you about the Gabon Viper is, is, you see this beautiful color coloration here? See along his back? And here goes yeah. Corey, big guy. Don't Corey, I apologize. Him. I apologize. Oh, oh, he's sm he's tasting the air now. Yeah, he's smelling it, but he's always sensing. He's a predator. This guy likes to hunt, so he will strike if he gets at something that he could strike at. So, this guy, with that coloration, he can sit on top of the leaf litter, nothing would see it, and then a little rodent would come past, and he'd use that really fast strike, those big, long fangs. And he has a venom that's called cytotoxic. Yeah. What that means is it's going to attack the cells. And those cells then start to swell, start to stop the work. So then he just kind of stays away from it, lets it pass away, and then eats it. Oh, that's great. I hear they love being in a box. <laughs> <laughs> is that, isn't that true? Oh, they do. Do you guys want to see that snake get in that box? Oh, that would be, I love that too. Why don't we take a break and then we can put the snake where it really wants to go, is in the box. All right, that sounds fair to me. And then we'll continue with something else terrible. You sure you? Dave <laughs> Salmoni is here. We'll be right back. back with Dave Salmoni. Dave's show is called Pet Nation Renovation. On the show, you, you fix up animal shelters, yeah, places right? places that have a big heart, lots of good animals. We just make sure the shelter matches their heart. Do they, they ever match. have the bald eagles in these shelters? They don't. These are more dogs and cat shelters. I see. Okay. But we're definitely trying to just make lives a little bit better, which is a good example of this guy. This guy was actually marked for destruction because couldn't go back in the wild, was injured. Um, and Patty here, Patty's the mom Next by, she said, well, I'll give her one more try. And now he's an educational bird. So he comes wow. out here and teaches people about how amazing these animals are. He looks smart. I mean, definitely. Does, like, do these birds know they're on the money? Do, do, are they aware? Well, they look like they're fairly, um, <laughs> they're proud. They're a proud animal. Let me go through some of the things. Obviously, the white hair makes, that's why it's bald, bald eagle. Right. Um, but not bald, not actually bald. They're not fact, actually bald. More feathers on the head than the usual bird. And you talk about feathers, I don't know if you can see, but there's little feathers that are coming out the side here. Yeah, side. right. So uh, he's molting. Oh, good boy. Showing he's molting. So he, once a year, he drops some of his feathers, makes new feathers, gets nice and big. Do you ever make pillows out of a bald eagle? <laughs> Typically not. No one that I would hang out with, no. Oh, all right. Uh, and then obviously the other big thing you see with an eagle, see those big talons? Yeah. That's how they hunt. These yeah. guys. They love to be around bodies of water. They'll take they, babies, right? I mean, they'll take like a human fish, baby. Baby typically. Yeah. Typically fish. They can take things as big as baby deer. You know, they're big. They're a real strong animal. Really? This guy's wingspan is about eight and a half feet. Can we see? We're almost at that. Can, can we see the, the wingspan, wingspan of? Yeah. There he goes. Oh there my goes. goodness! Wow. And you can see yeah. he's a strong guy. That is beautiful animal. One of my favorite ones. That, and it's a nice breeze, too. Totally. It's like, it's like a fan in the like car. You don't have a ceiling fan. This would be nice to have in your home. You're absolutely yeah. right. Yeah. Well, thank you very much, Dave. Thank you for having us. Thank you, Patty. Thanks, Thanks to the Eagle as well. Thanks for watching. If you like that, subscribe to our YouTube channel for all the latest videos. And if you didn't, subscribe anyway. It's free. Who cares?